This is Hillendale, USA. Just one American town. Of course, it looks like a lot of other American towns. Your town. And like your town, it has its businesses, its homes, its cars, and its people. And children. Children just like youngsters in your town. And dentists like Doc Jenkins. How are you, Miss Carter? Hi, Doc. How are you doing? Hello, Joe. Pretty well, thank you. Hi, Dr. Jake. Hiya, Jimmy. But there is something different about this town. Something vitally different. A vital difference that at present affects mainly the children and will affect them as long as they live. You can't see the difference in their clothes or in the way they walk or play. You may not even notice it in their smiles, and yet that is where the difference is, in their smiles, in their mouths, inside their mouths. You may not see, but the trained eyes of Miss Jones, the dental hygienist, can see. Can see that something has happened to the teeth of the young children. Something that today is almost a dental miracle. For today, Miss Jones finds only one cavity for every three she found seven years ago. Seven years ago, something happened in this town. Something very simple happened. Seven years ago, something was added to this water, added to this town's drinking water. It did something to the teeth, or for them. And the children's teeth just don't have as many cavities anymore. And here's how it happened. Here's something interesting, Miss Lather. About fluoride in drinking water. Listen to this. A considerable amount of scientific evidence shows that children born and reared in areas having fluoride in their drinking water have fewer cavities than have children using fluoride-free water. This scientific evidence meant simply that this chemical would save teeth. Now, Doc Jenkins is in the business of saving teeth, and he knew what a job it is to cope with all the cavities in children's teeth. Doc knew that dental decay is the most widespread of all diseases, that there are literally millions of neglected tooth cavities. He knew that the average man or woman can look forward without pleasure to losing half their teeth before reaching 40. He knew that tooth decay begins early in life, in childhood, and that the time to start doing something about it is early, when children are less than eight years old, six, four, two years, even earlier, before tooth decay has a chance to affect their health. And while he knew, of course, that youngsters themselves could do some things, he recognized that he and the other grown-ups of his town would have to do a great deal more. So Doc got all the information he could about the then new idea of fluoridation to save teeth. The facts were exciting, and Doc determined to do something about it. At dental conventions, he began bending the ears of his fellow dentists. Soon, full of enthusiasm, he got, at a most propitious moment, the ear of the mayor. For a nation, eh? And so the mayor asked interested civic-minded groups to meet with the town council to hear the opinion of experts, dentists, physicians, the dental director of the state health department, and local health department people. Now, I'm going to ask Mr. Evans, chairman of the Fluoridation Committee, to take over the meeting. Mr. Evans. Thank you, Mayor. First of all, I'd like to call on Dr. Foster. <clears throat> well, uh, speaking for myself, as well as other dentists in this area, we are for fluoridation. We dentists are in business to save teeth, not just to fill them. Thank you, Dr. Foster. And now we're going to hear from Dr. Harris of our local health department. Our health department has received some studies on fluoridation from the State Health Department. 
The local health department learned that children who drink water containing one part of naturally occurring fluoride per million parts of water have two-thirds less tooth decay. Two-thirds less decay than children drinking ordinary water. That's why we of your health department feel that fluoridation merits your approval. I'd like to say something. I've heard that fluoride will make your teeth look ugly. Now, we don't want our children's teeth to look uh, bad with black and yellow stains. Let's give up the idea. He's right. And it makes the bones brittle, too. There's all sorts of things to your health. Let's hear what our state dental director has to say about this matter. Those statements are not right. Facts in our possession indicate that there is absolutely no danger. The state dental director's office had proof that only excessive amounts of fluoride can cause mottling of teeth, and that hundreds of thousands of people have used natural fluoride in the right amounts all their lives without harmful effects. I'm sure the physician on this committee will agree that these people are just as healthy as people who drink ordinary water. That's exactly right. A great deal of sound medical evidence suggests that these chemical compounds will not harm the human system in any way when used in the recommended proportions, and further, will save teeth, and therefore making it easier for us doctors to preserve the health of the people of Hill and Dale. I like this fluoridation idea. At meetings of women's groups, PTAs, and so on, the idea of better teeth for children with less strain on the pocketbook had a strong appeal. Well, we people in the water department are ready to do the job. Have you got the facts in regards to the cost of this? Yes, sir, we have gone into the matter quite fully. The low cost of installation and maintenance was fully explained, and then recommendations were presented to the people of Hillendale. Community-wide discussion started, and a hot discussion it was on both sides of the question. What do you mean, fluoride? I like my water clean and pure, not doped up with a lot of chemicals. Anything that will give my kids good teeth and save me dough, boy, I'm for that. Fluoridation? Stupid. Well, I tell you this. If it's going to help with the kid, it's a very good. Me? I ought to know. I got to eat. Yes, sir, when town meeting time rolled around again, the folks in Hillendale were pretty excited. I'd like to ask a question. Won't the water taste funny? Fluoride will add neither taste nor odor to the water. What will it do to my clothes when I wash them? Madam, fluoride will not color water, nor will it harden it or soften it. Well, now tell me this. How is it going to affect my liver? <laughs> uh, medically speaking, it will have no effect. Some towns, they put chloride in the water. Others, they take it out. How come? Well, Jim, let me explain that. Towns that have too much natural chloride in the water must take it out. But towns that have no fluoride, they must add enough to do the job. So why add the stuff? I like my water the way it is, not medicated. Fluoridation is just another name for mass medication. Why, uh, you don't add fluoride to cure a disease. You add fluoride to prevent disease, tooth decay. Why, we've been adding chlorine to our water for a long time now to prevent disease. No one calls that mass medication. Will it hurt our goldfish or guppies? <laughs> The amount we propose will harm no living creature. What I want to know is, how much is it going to cost me? It'll cost you about 10 cents a year per person. That's just a drop in the bucket. Because the fact is, every one of you citizens of Hillendale can pay your share of 30 years of fluoridation for the price of filling one tooth. And that was about it. For the people of Hillendale had the courage of their conviction decided to pioneer on the strength of the available evidence, even before fluoridation was endorsed, as it is today, not only by the United States Public Health Service, but also by the American Dental Association, the American Public Health Association, and other national health organizations.
After the town council acted, well, everybody sort of waited, went about their business as usual. But the day the equipment was installed at the waterworks, now that was the day. Some wanted to see the feeder. Some wanted to see what the fluoride looked like, how it was weighed and put into the water and the feeder pump that was designed to add just one part of fluoride to each million parts of water. It was a big day for Doc Jenkins and all those who had fought to put over the idea. Some wanted to see the fluoride in the water. But of course they couldn't see it. Or smell it. And they couldn't taste it. They couldn't see or taste the fluoride then any more than the youngsters can see or taste it back here in the schoolhouse today, where they've been drinking this fluoridated water for seven years. But as a matter of fact, you can see the fluoride now, where Doc sees it in the dental records of the town. For the records show that already two out of every three cavities have been prevented in the teeth of the little people of Hillendale. And you can see it in the smiles of these children and all the children that come after them. The happy, shining smiles of their own healthy teeth.